Okay, so this is what a 25 degree angle right there. Okay, so um, I'm going to guess that the acceleration is this way, the positive is this way, positive is this way. The B, since they both have the same mass, and since only part of the weight of A is acting down the plane, but all of the weight of B is acting this way, that it's going to accelerate that way, and that's a pretty safe bet. So the force on A is the tension, right? The force this way is, of course, uh, mg sine theta, right? Okay, so 5 times 9.81 times sine of 25, 5 times 9.81 times, wow, what did I just do, times sine of 25, 20.729 is acting this way, right? Okay, and I stored that in A on my calculator. Okay, so then I'm drawing that line is smaller because I, I know it's going to accelerate this way. Now, if I'm wrong, by the way, our acceleration will end up being negative. Okay, so B has got the tension up, and then, of course, the force down is going to be the force of gravity, right? And that's going to be 5 times 9.81. That's 49.05 newtons. 5 times 9.81. Let's store that in B just for fun. Okay, so now we set up an equation for A. Our equation looks like this. Uh, tension, the thing causing the acceleration, right? Because it's accelerating up the plane, minus the thing preventing it, which is this, right? 20.729 equals 5 times A, right? Two unknowns, one equation, right? The second equation comes along to our rescue, right? So for this guy, we've got the, the weight, the 49.05. That's causing the acceleration. Protagonist minus antagonist, right, equals 5a, right? Okay, so now we are set. Now we can just add these guys together, as we always do, right? And we end up with 49.05 minus 20.729 equals 10 times a, right? And now we can solve for a, right? So let's go uh, alpha b minus alpha a. Stored this guy in B, by the way. Okay, I'm getting 28.3206 equals 10A. Without a calculator, I can see that acceleration is uh, 2.832 meters per second squared, right? So we've got that answer. Now, now we've got to find out what the tension is. So I think the thing to do is to take this formula here and rewrite it this way. T is equal to uh, 5A plus 20.729, right? So now we're set. T is equal to 5 times the acceleration, 2.832 plus 20.729. So that guy divided by 10, I got the acceleration. Now I'm going to go times 5 plus the 20.729, and you get 34.8897. So T is equal to 34.8897, which with two sig figs would be 35 newtons and 2.8 meters per second squared.